Hello everyone. Welcome to Manopatra's Law and Legal News podcast. Let us begin with the news highlights for 20th October. Starting with the Honorable Supreme Court, the Honorable Court has declined to interfere with the arrest of Trinamool Congress leader and former chairman of West Bengal Board of Primary Education, Manik Bhattacharya, by Enforcement Directorate in connection with a money laundering matter regarding the teachers' appointment scam. The Honorable Supreme Court has ruled that any entity or institution involved in any trade or commerce under the guise of general public utility will cease to be a charitable institution and therefore cannot claim tax ex- exemption under the Income Tax Act 1961 the honorable supreme court has said profit oriented educational trusts or societies cannot claim exemption under the income tax act the court said that such educational trusts and societies should solely be concerned with education or education related activities under section 1023c of the income tax act 1961 moving on to the high courts of india the delhi high court has dismissed a plea challenging the direction issued by delhi pollution control committee on september 14 for a complete ban on manufacturing and storage sale and bursting of all kinds of firecrackers till january 1st 2023 in the national capital The Delhi High Court has reiterated that a lookout circular LOC is to be issued in such cases where the accused is deliberately evading arrest or summons or where he fails to appear in a court despite issuance of non-bailable warrants. The Delhi High Court has ruled that provisions of the Safasi Act 2002 provides a remedy in addition to the adjudication and hence initiation of proceedings does not bar the arbitration of disputes. The Delhi High Court has directed the Delhi government to decide in 4 months a representation seeking recognition of transgender community as third gender on the tickets of DTC buses and a provision for free travel for them. The Kerala High Court while allowing the state government and victims petitions challenging the session court order has rejected anticipatory bail of Sivik Chandran author and social activist in a sexual harassment case. The Kerala High Court has ordered setting up of committees at level of every local self-government institution to tackle the issues of putting of illegal boards and banners in the state. The Kerala High Court has ordered the state government to ensure the safety and education of two minor girls from Assam who had migrated to the state with their parents but were unfortunately subjected to sexual abuse. The Allahabad High Court in a significant observation has said that the influence of money in conducting an investigation is quite evident and it is a very big hurdle in the free and fair investigation of a crime case. The Allahabad High Court in a significant decision has ruled that it is permissible for the special court designated under the SCST Act to take cognizance of an offence on itself by treating an application under section 156 subsection 3 of CRPC as a complaint. The Bombay High Court has dismissed a writ petition filed by a member of Uddhav Thackeray led faction challenging Thane Municipal Corporation's permission to two members of CM Eknath Shinde faction to conduct Diwali Pahar an annual musical event on the first day of Diwali. The Karnataka High Court has quashed the proceedings pending under the Narcotics, Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act against two officials of logistics company on holding that they were unaware that the driver of the transport vehicle is carrying contraband. The Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh High Court has ruled that the power to compulsorily retire a government servant in the terms of service rules is absolute provided the authority concerned forms a bona fide opinion that compulsory retirement is in the public interest. That is all for today. Thank you and have a great day ahead.